village called Tepo, which is located in the west coast of Korea. This book takes place in 12th century Korea, which is Korean pottery's early age, and is when potters have been trying different techniques in pottery. The main characters of this book is Chiyir and Crayman. Chiyir is an orphan who has been living with Crayman his whole life. And Crayman is an old man who is crippled, and he can only make straw sandals and mats to sell. This book takes, um, this is when Chiyir, he finds these mesmerized pottery, and he decides to sneak into Potterman's house to take a closer look at pots. But when he is in Potterman's workshop, he accidentally breaks a piece of pottery on the ground. So he and Potterman agree that he will work for Potterman to work up the cost. The theme, of, the theme of this book is to be persistent and is not to give up, even if the present might be unbearable. And this is shown in the book when Potterman orders around three years to do hard and exhausting tasks. But Chiyir thinks of his potential future as a father and sticks with his hard job. <coughs> I recommend this book to people who are interested in a bit of Korean culture and also people who like books that have a lot of historical insight on the setting 